In this lesson, I want us to do a test. We're going to test to make sure that users are able to check out when they order something. And as I mentioned in the previous video, there are different options you can utilize for your payments. You can have it where they can pay online, they can pay by check, or they can pay when as delivered and things like that. So you can go back and you know look at that video. But what I'm going to do right now is we're going to order a couple items from here and we are going to check out. And I've set up a sandbox account. Uh, I'm gonna have a link, a uh, link for you to go, you know, set a sandbox account with PayPal. Uh, that's the only way for you to be able to create one and and test it out. But I've set up a sandbox account with PayPal, and that's free, by the way. It's no charge for that. So I'm gonna add two products here. Let's say I like this TV and I want to buy this. So I'm gonna click on Add to Cart, and I'm gonna click on Continue Shopping, and I want to get this other TV. So I click on Add to Cart and continue shopping and i just want to share a, a little neat trick by the way too if you want to remove the items that are showing on this side here because you have them in, in two places you know it doesn't make sense for you to have you know the categories here and then have the categories here again so what you want to do is you want to go over to the menus and you want to click on the product menu and go over to the layout and where you see display categories and store list you want to set that to no save and close now let's refresh this page so you notice now that the products have stretched out so you don't have the store list and the categories on this side, which looks a lot better. Okay, so now let's say that I'm ready to check out. I'm going to click on check out and it shows the product that I'm ordering. If I have a coupon code, then I can put the coupon code here, which I believe that would create it one before. So I'm going to put that coupon code that would create it here off 20 and that's going to take 20% off the total. And let's click on apply. Okay, so now this is the total price. If you notice here, yeah, the 20% off was just for this, this item, and it was not for this one. So you can create the coupons based on all the products or just specific products. So if there's some products that you want to have percentage off, you can do that, or if you want it to be for the entire store. So it took 20% off this, so now this is the total from 897 to 374 So let's click on Next. If they're not a user on the site, then it's going to ask them to log in or create an account. They can check out as guest. If you have the guest checkout enabled, then they can check out. But if not, they would have to create an account first in order for them to check out. So I'm going to click on proceed to billing or you can click on register an account or they can log. But since I have an account, I'm going to log into my account and then click on login. So logs me in and that has my information here, the demo step that I set up. And I click on if there is if this has been delivered to the same address, I'm just going to click on deliver to the same address and it is going to, you know, disable or hide this section here. And I'm gonna click on next. Since there are no shipping applicable for this products, then click on next. Okay, so now it gives you a detailed uh, summary of the person's address here, the customer address. And it also shows you the payment gateway. So we're using PayPal for this. And I'm just going to click on this PayPal here. And then I'm going to click on submit. Okay, so here you have it. Once I'm, I'm here on PayPal, that means that everything is working fine. Then, of course, from here, someone can be able to process, you know, the payment uh, from this point. So if you get to this point with PayPal, then you're doing well. Uh, and then from there, you can be able to, to you know, to put in your real paypal email and remove that from the sandbox but as you can see the ordering process is very simple and it's very easy so users can you know be able to access it and you know process payments uh, and process you know their their shopping cart so much easier and really really fast so it's important that you you run a test with your site very very important in terms of ordering because i've had times when i did something and I forgot to, you know, test it. And then I'm getting a lot of emails about, you know, that's not working. That's not working. I can't process the order. So make sure that you run the test, you know, based on the payment gateway that you're using. If, you know, the test comes out one way or if it comes another way, just make sure that you really, you know, do a thorough testing with it.